Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good, and truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, it is time to pray again. And as I sought the Lord, you know, how should I pray? And, you know, sought the Lord for a scripture. I was taken back to earlier today, you know, where I was in um, attendance of a funeral today. And, you know, when thinking about funerals in our churches, pastor said, my pastor said, you know, it's only 50. Teen days into the year and we have had six funerals already and so as I reflected on my day because you know I sing in the choir so I was you know ministering we were ministering to the family today but as I thought back on you know the funeral today and all that you know had taken place I was reminded of that scripture found in the third book of John the first chapter and the second verse where the Bible declares beloved I pray that you may prosper in all things Things and be in health just as your soul prospers and so that was my prayer that's my prayer focus for tonight for the people of God not only would you be prosperous in your you know finances but you'd be prosperous in your soul as well as in your health so I'm believing God with you if you need something in any of those areas you know reach out by faith and receive it in the name of Jesus know today that God declared that if we ask anything in Jesus name he do it God declared that, you know, if two of us agree, he would do it. And he said, if we, if his word abides in us and we abide in him, we can ask our Lord for whatever we will. So know today that it is his desire for you to prosper, even as your soul prosper and be in good health. Reach out and grab it today by faith in the name of Jesus. Know that, you know, the Lord loves you. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again. Stay strong, stand in faith, and keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Father, I praise you, I thank you, I bless you, I honor you, and Lord, I give you the glory and the honor and the praise, Father, for truly, God, thine alone are worthy to be praised. Uh, great are you, God, and greatly to be praised. Great in the heavens, my Lord, great on the earth, and great in your people. You are a wonderful God. Hallelujah. You are matchless God. You are perfect God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, the one and only true and living God, uh, and greatly to be praised. So, Lord, I give you praise today. I honor you, Lord. You said to enter into your gates with thanksgiving. God, you said to come before your courts with praise. Uh, what a privilege it is, God, uh, to come before you, God. Uh, we can now come behind the veil, God. Uh, the veil has been rent. Uh, why? Because of Jesus Christ, your only begotten son, Lord, that gave his life for our sins. He paid the price, Father, that we could have a relationship with you. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, Heavenly Father, for adopting us, grafting us in, calling us your own, no longer slaves, God, but we are now sons and daughters of the Most High God. I give you praise you wonderful Savior and Father I pray for your people today Father and I pray in accordance with your word found in the third book of John the first chapter and the second verse Father your word declares beloved I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers so father i pray that you know the way of your people would become easy my lord i pray that their way would become successful i pray that they would succeed father even in business affairs father that they would in this season father in this season of refreshing god i pray you grant them ideas god I grant them you know ideas of new products father and inventions that would cause your people god to become 
become wealthy so that more can be done for the kingdom. And Lord, just as, you know, they prosper in that way, may their souls also prosper. May they become stronger in you. Huh? May you pour it out on them this year, Father. Refresh them in the name of Jesus, God. Replenish all, God, that has been lacking in their life, God. And I pray, Father, just as you prosper them in their wealthiness, Lord, as you prosper them in their souls, God, I pray that they would be in good health, Father, that they would have sound minds, God, that they would be whole, Father, and that they would be well, full of your grace, Father, and strong. So I come against anything, Father, any sickness, any disease in their body, and I plead the blood of Jesus over them, Father. And Father, I declare your word that by Jesus stripes they are healed, Father. In the name of Jesus, those that are standing on your word for a healing God, I connect with their faith, Father, and I stand in agreement with them, Father, that whatever it is, whatever sickness, whatever that disease that has tried to attack their body, I come against it in the name of Jesus, God. Let your healing flow through them, God, as they reach out in faith right now. Let your healing flow through them, God, in the precious name of Jesus. Praying for the man of God, asking that you continue to strengthen him, Lord. Give him, God, what he needs. Your word declares you would supply all of our need according to your riches and your glory father god bless his ministry lord that you have entrusted them with father and i pray father god that whatever they desire god that you would give it for father you said that if we delight ourselves in you you would give us the desires of our heart so bless the man of god on this evening father praying for this united states once and again god praying your will be done you know i never want to close one of my videos without given someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.